if you're looking at going a little further afield than just the local smooth waters, which the entry level boat or the car topper boat allows, then something like this beautifully presented Cruisecraft 550 Explorer is an ideal choice. It's a locally manufactured boat from a family business that's been producing boats since the 40s and they certainly know what they're doing. They listen to their customers, which a lot of the great manufacturers do, because it's you ultimately, the buyer, that advises the manufacturers of what you like and what you don't that gives user friendliness. The more user friendly a boat, obviously, the more demand there is and appeal. Something like this is awesome for family fishing, going offshore, again with the appropriate safety gear, but excellent inshore bay use. So fishing, skiing, tubing, but ultimately family enjoyment. Let's have a look inside and see the space and the setup that this one provides. This is a 5.5 metre boat, or in the Imperial metric, 18 feet. 18 feet or a 5.5 metre boat is something that allows you a lot more scope and diversity in your boating needs. So it can take you across the bay in its partially smooth waters, and with the appropriate safety gear as mentioned before, take you well offshore. This particular boat's from the stable, the Cruisecraft stable, been around since the 1960s. It's a wonderful vessel with a lot of thought into its design and its build quality. I'm six foot three and as you can see the freeboard, which is the amount of space between the floor and my thigh, is rather high. So if you're offshore for the day, the feeling of security is there. You can actually put your toes underneath the side pockets and lock yourself in. So as the boat rocks around, you feel very safe and also, great idea, added protection of a cockpit grab rail. Great for when the youngies are on board, the kiddies, but also too, if you get a bit of wobbly legs, as I do, sea legs, it's something to hang on to while you're hanging over the side. With the storage of these boats, naturally, we always have a spare tape measure on hand, but it's great to come into the dealerships with already a storage spot in mind at home, and if you can, bring along with you the width of the area that you're looking to store the boat, and also the length. We can always trim the motor down. There's a few other little things that we can do, tricks up our sleeve, to help you get the boat into this spot. And no, we don't lower the tyres to make them go flat to reduce its height. It may be a finer point to address, but the Department of Transport in Queensland actually have guidelines on the placement of the registration label on your trailer and also on your hull. And it's vital to make sure you comply with this because it is a, it is a fineable offence. The registration label needs to be put on the left hand side of the trailer somewhere towards the front. So in this location here, this is 100% fine. However, if it was on the rear of the mudguard or on the right hand side, this is not the location that, where it needs to be. So it needs to be somewhere in this location on the left hand side. Again, this might be seen as a minor detail to most, but it's a finable offence, $150 on the spot fine, if your registration characters on the side of the boat are non-compliant. What's compliant? Well, Queensland Transport define as 200 millimetre high characters, not 175, not 150. The height of the characters need to be a minimum of 200 mils. If they can't also be easily read at the distance of 30 metres, they'll also fine you for that. So in this fine crazy world, it's really important to ensure that your characters are a minimum of 200 mil high, and if one's damaged or broken, really important to fix it straight away, because it's something that they will chase you down on. One of the great things about the boating industry is the diversity in range and style of boats. If bling is your thing, you couldn't care about fish other than they swim in water, something like this might float your boat. This particular style of boat is known as a bow rider, and naturally it means the bow is somewhere that people can safely and legally sit up the front of the boat. Rather than having a deck up there, which sort of impedes into the space of the boat, this boat's been strengthened in a way that there is no deck. You can walk all the way through to the bow to open up the boat, so you get pure enjoyment out of the whole length of the vessel. I like some of the bow rider styles myself because they're easy to lay the anchor over the front and also retrieve. Generally it's my job. 